What's going on guys? It's Michael here from GBU. We are back again with another video. Now this time around, I'm going to show you some of the differences between say, a MOSFET build and a switch block build. So what we call a switch block build here at GBU is a stage three and a MOSFET being a stage four. Now they both look very, very similar. But on the inside of the box, there is another set of similarities, but the big key factor of the differences is the actual trigger unit itself. What I give you guys is our brand new stage three build so this is in the brand new Nevesky range so starting off with the stage three as we work from the front we have a nice metal black muzzle brake tucked inside is a Razor X hop up now this receiver kit that I have here does come standard with this particular handguard which is marked Nevesky as well guys now it does also come with this silver outer barrel and inside there, you can kind of see a barrel stabilizer, like a gas block really, like on a HK as such. So we've gone with the whole tan vibe. So obviously we have our little brown alloy finger grip. Moving down the backside, we obviously have our Nevesky receiver. No detail was spared at all on this particular receiver, which is amazing to see, even down to its little accents. Now on this one, we have gone with the Romeo. We've also got our mini SLR magazine. We've got a nice tan pistol grip, nice little comp style trigger. We've got an X-Power buffer tube and we've got a Hogue nylon and rubber stock. Now again, inside of this one is a CNC split box which is running the Aztec Apache. We have 18 to one gears in this. So we also have an M110 spring in here. We have full SHS internals, your piston. We have a fighting bro cylinder, which you can't really see, but this thing is kitted out to the max. Now it does have a Lonex wiring kit in here, which is a switch block wiring kit, giving the sense that it is a stage three. So again, guys, this is our stage three build. You are after a nice, simple, but very, very clean tan blaster, and then this one is for you. So guys, I'm gonna grab the next blaster, we're gonna have a quick chat, and then we'll head over to the firing range. So next one up, again, is another Nevesky range blaster. So this is our stage four. So on this one, starting at the front, we have our SLR metal muzzle brake. Again, tucked inside is a Razor X hopper. This one has a metal outer barrel. We obviously have our Nevesky handguard. I've gone with the Ascent finger grip on this one, just a little bit smaller. And then again, we have our Nevesky receiver. Then on top, we have a nice Predator looking style aim point, which does have a iron sight on top. And then obviously has a magnified scope itself with a couple of rails if you want to chuck like a laser or something on there. We have our mini SLR magazine, again, to give it that DMR look, stylized pistol grip. Now, a lot of you OGs will know what this grip is. On the back side here, we have our X-Power buffer tube, and then we have a MOE stock as well. So inside of this one is a CNC box. Is a split CNC box. This one is running the Apache from Aztec Armory. This one is also running a set of 18 to one SHS gears, SHS internal, ship piston, and then it's also running a big R MOSFET, which is fully, fully programmable. So I'm not too sure if you can hear the click. But again, we have our comp trigger. So unlike the actual state trade that I just showed you, I only have to pull the trigger there. Like, and that's not even all the way back. So you can kind of feather it off, do what you gotta do. So obviously inside of the grip, we have a SHS high torque motor. We've got an M110 spring. As I was saying, some of the differences between a MOSFET and a switch block comes down to what you can do with the particular blaster it is installed into. Now, a lot of it, again, comes down to your fire selects, um, whether you do a semi and a full auto, which is all you've got on a stage three build with a switch block or you can jump over to a MOSFET, which allows you full settings of your actual blaster itself. So again, whether you wanna do semi, binary, two round bursts, three round bursts, four, five, six if you wish, and full auto. So there is a lot more time and consideration going into a stage four, hence the price difference as well. So some of you may be thinking, why is this one more expensive than that one? 
Now, it isn't just the MOSFET, okay? There's a, a bit of work that goes into these boxes that do have a MOSFET, again, because they are optical. So the sensor on the actual MOSFET as well, it actually picks up a little magnet that spins around on your sector gear. So obviously you have to have it at the right height for the sensor to pick up the gear, otherwise it's not going to work. So again, there is a bit of time that goes into a stage four, hence the price difference. Where a stage three, we don't have to worry about a sensor. We are able to shim the box to where it needs to be, considering that all boxes are completely different, unfortunately. So I wish that they all were the same, but they're not. But other than that, guys, we're gonna head over to the firing range. We'll give these things a couple of slaps. We'll see how they perform and we'll be back. First one up will be our stage three. Our stage four. So we give some semi. Auto. The sensitivity. But as you can see guys, both of these blasters stand out in their own very way. They both have exactly the same fire rate, they've got exactly the same motor, same spring, same gearing as well. So the fire rate's not going to be any different, but what changes is the trigger response and how well it actually performs. So if this is something that you'd like, come on down and see us at 7 slash 18 Bailey Crescent in Southport on the Gold Coast, or they are online right now as I speak. Peace out.